I'm Shelley Gaskins and I work for Smithsonian Gardens. I work in the Enid A. Hop Garden and the Catherine Doolin Folger Rose Garden. The origin of the rose is a difficult question to answer, but what I can say is that the genus is widely distributed throughout the Northern Hemisphere. Well, there's some debate about the number of species that there are, but it's somewhere between 100 and 200, and as far as hybrids, thousands. A lot of people have grown roses for their beauty and their fragrance, but historically roses have also had other purposes. Roses have been used for many things. The rose oil has been used in making perfume. Rose water is used in cooking and as well as in cocktails. Uh, rose hips, which is the seed pot of the rose, um, has been used medicinally because it's very high in vitamin C as well as other vitamins. One of the modern roses that we have in the garden has a connection to the Smithsonian. It's called the Alnwick Rose. The Alnwick Rose was named for um, the Alnwick Castle where the Duke of Northumberland lived. And the Duke of Northumberland was the father of James Smithson. fun fact about the rose is that they don't actually have thorns. They have uh, what is called a prickle. And a prickle is different from a thorn in that you can, you can push it off of the stem. The most common problem with roses is a fungus called black spot. And there are some cultural practices you can do to um, reduce the amount of black spot in your garden. Those would be like um, when pruning, opening up the center of the shrub to allow in light and air. You can clean up all the leaf litter, um, which will have the spores of the fungus on it. So if when uh, the leaves fall to the ground, you want to clean those up so it doesn't continuously give it back to the plant. My favorite rose depends on what day it is. I have different roses for different reasons. Angel Face, I like for her ruffled petals, and she also is a fragrance award winner. And Evelyn for elegance and, and also fragrance. Uh, yesterday it was Charlotte Armstrong because she looked particularly good yesterday. 